All right, everybody. Okay, there we go. All right, everybody. Um, Big Boy Sports is finally back with another interview. I know it's been quite some time, and this is the final interview for the 2024 indoor arena football season. I know I've been planning on it for like two months, and you know, things have not been working out the way I wanted to. Uh, you know, shout outs to all the arena league teams that are playing tonight in the TAL playoffs, and none of them wanted to talk to me. <laughs> it's okay. I was like, you know, uh, let me get my, let me send them my email. Nothing. Uh, let me let me try asking on Facebook. Say so use my personal Facebook. I don't, I don't really, you know, I don't. Really, I should probably establish a Facebook page, but it's whatever. But anyway, my guest tonight is a content creator in the arena indoor football scene who has rapidly grown over the past eight months. This is Arena Football Nation. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Oh, thank you, man. I, I really appreciate you having me on here. Really happy to be here. Uh, Arena Football Nation is my YouTube channel name. Uh, you can call me Chris. That's my name. But uh, yeah, uh, just a really big fan of Arena and Indoor Football. I have been since 2011. That was when I uh, went to my first game. And uh, just fell in love with it instantly. I just had a blast. So ever since then, I've been going to games, uh, watching streams on YouTube, in multiple leagues and uh just one day decide you know what i love this so much i want to meet more people who do too so why don't i make a channel and just talk about what i enjoy so much and uh, i just felt i had so much to give when i make the content that you know so many people will be interested in seeing or hearing about uh i should be a history teacher at this point because i love geography and talking about the history of leagues uh and I'll, you know the history of teams so uh, that was a big thing that i seen that there was an opening for in youtube in the YouTube space. So I uh, said, you know, I'll start doing that and then uh, maybe I'll do some coverage down the road. And uh, just ever since then, I've just been having a blast doing all kinds of stuff and uh, really excited for the future. And uh, I really appreciate all the people who have been checking out the channel and subscribe. It's been an absolute blessing. I uh, could not believe it, how far it's grown already. And uh, I do not take that for granted. I appreciate everybody. So, yeah. Did you expect the channel to get so big this quickly? Because at this moment, I believe you're at over 600 subscribers on YouTube. I, I, did you expect it to get this big this quickly? I did not. I'm being honest. I had I was going to be happy if I had 200. You know, that was like my goal was like, if I can get at least 200 subscribers, then I, I've made it in my eyes. Uh, I made talking about YouTube or talking about arena and football and indoor football. So that was like my, my goal. And uh yeah, being over 600 already, it's just absolutely insane. I'm so grateful, and I can't believe it. It's just every day I'm grateful for that. And uh, that just uh, drives, it gives me the drive to want to continue to make content and even be better and improve myself. Gotcha. Uh, the, uh, I know we talked about it off camera, but, you know, could you tell us all a little bit more about who inspired you and everything like that to make content? Yeah, of course. So... Uh, there's a couple of people who've actually inspired me to do this. And uh, if it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't be doing it, honestly. And because, uh, you know, I, I'll be honest, I'm kind of shy, camera shy even. And uh, that was that was one of the big things was anxiety getting over that. And uh, two people, uh, obviously, um, I am a part of the Inside the Walls Network and uh, Jim Monier. He's uh, one of the ones that I saw was starting to make content. And uh, he's like a friend of mine here locally where I live. So. That, that inspired me a little bit, but uh, also you, Big Boy Sports. You uh, actually inspired me as well because you come out here and you consistently put out content and you, you talk so much about all the leagues, other sports. You do a great job covering things. And um, it's just you and your face, right? And you're just there with the people talking. And uh, that helped me with my anxiety. It helped me get over, you know, I can do it if he can do it. Uh, you just got to be dedicated, push yourself. And uh, yeah, man, you go over all the details, so much details. Uh, games standings everything and i just love that stuff so uh i really appreciate you at the end of the day too because you, you are one of the ones that helped me aspire to do what i'm doing now man i, I like i said off camera i appreciate it i really do because you know you know sometimes you know sometimes it, it's it's a weird world <laughs> where it's like huh i inspire people to do this stuff it's crazy it's crazy i, I keep people motivated Absolutely. it's crazy but wow I'm all, I'm all, I'm always I'm always excited. I'm always excited to do this type of stuff. Um, obviously, you, you, you and Jim are in the same area. Jim is a known Jacksonville Sharks fan. You are also a Jacksonville Sharks fan. How did you feel about the Sharks season? I know 
know it wasn't the best season, but uh, you know you're you're now the IFL. You're now what is considered the top dog. So. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, obviously, it was a rough season for sure. Uh, the Sharks came over, and uh, I won't lie, a lot of Sharks fans and people thought they were going to come in and just have their way with the IFL. I think a lot of people took the IFL lightly. Uh, people who don't know the game of the IFL, how it's different than arena, uh, a lot more run heavy, and uh, there's some other you know strategic differences with the Inworkable League. So, uh, yeah, I was really excited, obviously, to get into it because there's a lot more, you know, pageantry and history with teams in there with you know, Arizona, Green Bay, Iowa, uh, the big dogs in my eyes when it comes to the brands of arena and football, they're in the IFL. So uh, not all, but some uh, respect to Omaha and, and all those others. But uh, yeah, man, I was just really excited for that. Cause I won't lie. A lot of the Jacksonville natives we were saying, you know, the hardcore fans were saying we need to go to the IFL. We need to go to the IFL. The NAL is dying. And uh, I won't, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I was tired of hearing that. Um, Cause I think the NAL has a very good, future ahead of it they're doing a lot of good things right now and um yeah really excited for it and uh yeah it was a rude awakening uh we did not do very well as everybody can tell and uh it was it was a lot of fun though it was a lot of fun seeing my you know my team play those other teams uh honestly it was like a dream to see jacksonville and arizona play again it was one of those things i never thought i'd see again happen and um yeah it, it's been a rough season we we didn't win a lot we didn't make the playoffs but at the end of the day i just i'm a diehard sharks fan i love arena North football and i'm just so grateful to have a team to support so um in the day i'm just happy we had another season and i know we have a future ahead of us so uh it's learning learning you know the learning curve wasn't as easy as i thought it would be and uh it took our bumps and uh, i think they'll bounce back next year and do a lot better they, now they know the whole scene of the IFL and how they uh, how to make some adjustments. To that. Gotcha. Uh, the the what's your thoughts on the industry as a whole, the arena indoor football industry? What's your thoughts on the industry as a whole, where it stands right now? Oh man, the industry is wild. Okay, it's like a soap opera that's ongoing and it just never ends. Uh, but uh, it's uh, I think it's. It was a little rough there for a while, especially when the uh, AFL 2.0 went away. Uh, I won't lie, that was pretty scary as a fan of the sport because uh, if they fell a second time, can anybody make it? Uh, can anybody have a business model or have the number of teams to hold a league that would be stable? So it was pretty rough there. Um, and I think at this point, we bounced back with the IFL growing as much as it has and gaining the stability it has, and it's getting to a national footprint really more than ever now. Uh, so with the, I think it would being as big as it is, it, it's great for the sport, and it doesn't matter if it's indoor or arena. And uh, NAL is on the up and up. They they've have some rough years too, as well, but I think they're going to be all right going forward. A lot of good people are in leadership roles. They got some solid you know teams now in the league, and I think they're all like minded. Uh, and what they want to achieve and what they need to be done to do those things. So uh, AFL 3.0, it's rough, man. It was a, it was a really rough year. I don't, you don't need me to tell you that, but um, I think they're still around and they're going to continue. They, they got some new leadership in and they, they're going to hopefully put it in the right direction and um, fix the issues. And uh, right now I think it's really solid. The, the, the sport is not dying. I think it's growing. I think it has potential still, and I'm really excited for the future. So, uh, yeah, it, I think it's uh, as long as the, the people who are in power with these leagues continue to do the right thing, I think we have a bright future ahead of us and for the sport. What kind of content are you uh, planning for in the future? Oh, man, I have so many ideas and things I wanted to do this year. But uh, they fell to the wayside because I had some issues, uh, life issues happen. But, man, I uh, what I want to do every year is what I did this year at the beginning of the season or the beginning of the, my channel, which was I, I love doing geography. I love history and all that. So every year I'm going to redo the first three videos of my channel, which was do an overview of the league, uh, show a map of all the teams, the logos, anything that's changed. Uh, I love doing videos like that, some uh, history of the leagues. Um, so, yeah, that would be my next few videos. I'd be doing those that I really like to do. And then uh, I'd like to do a history of each league, like maybe a video series, multiple videos. Uh, or, you know, if there's not content, just do one video. But 
Yeah, I would like to do the history of leagues because um, I think that's really awesome. There's enough people interested in that kind of stuff that they would watch it. Uh, and I'd like to do rankings. I keep saying we'll do rankings. And I actually recorded a video of a logo rankings because I love logo rankings. So, and I just never got around to uploading it. And then by the time I was going to, the season was halfway over. And I was like, well, no one's going to care now. This is something they need to do at the end of the season. You know, something to get people excited. So, yeah, those type of things. And then, um, yeah, just continue to do coverage and be more consistent and take it a little more seriously because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of dedication that takes it to really cover leagues. Uh, and uh, I kind of fell off there a little bit halfway through the season. So that was another thing that I wish I did better. But pretty much just overall cover of the sport. Uh, some some little here and there, little fun things uh, like a, a logo rankings. And then, um, yeah, just do previews of the, of the sport. I would like to do interviews as well. So here you go. You got me all excited and want to do interviews now. So maybe that's something else I'll do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to ask you next because <laughs> – yeah, because uh, it's it's been an interesting experience again doing interviews this year and coming back into it anyway, coming back into it again. This is something we talked about off camera a little bit, um, you know, coming back into it this year, you know, after years of not doing them, you know, of course, anybody knows the history of this channel, this playlist of my old public access show that I used to do with the University of North Texas with various interviews on there and everything like that, you know. So, yeah, so coming back into it this year was definitely, you know, just, just, just a little insight into me, you know, coming back into it this year was just crazy. It was crazy because, you know, I hadn't really, hadn't really done this like that, you know, beforehand because, I mean, when I did it a few people back in the day, it, 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 it didn't take as much time. You know, nowadays, you know, nowadays things take a little bit longer. You got to be a little bit more patient, you know. I remember, you know, I remember my interview back with Dre Sherrill of Duluth. He's the uh, strength and conditioning coach. I, I believe so. He's still there. You know, if I'm not mistaken, again, TL playoffs are tonight. Duluth's taking on Ozarks, Iowa, taking on Kansas City. And I remember, and I remember, you know, I was at work. I was sitting at a, um, at a desk because they had me on bathroom duty again, substitute teacher. So, you know. Hmm. Uh, and I remember, you know, just sitting there, you know, on the um, bathroom duty. And I remember Steve giving me, and I remember Steve Walters, who I think he's like the, um, I think he does like, you know, all the social media stuff and marketing. And like, I think he, I can't remember what exactly he does. I, I will forget, forgive me, man. Forget <laughs> me, forget me, Steve. Forgive me. Oh, I'm going to send him an email at some point. But I remember getting the phone call and it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, he was like, yo, you want you want to do this? You want you know we can help each other grow and everything like that. And I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm I'm down with it. I'm down with it. And so you know that that was something you know that, that was something you know that was great. You know, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe the feeling, but it's just a great feeling at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. um, are you are you are you branching out into any other sports or anything like that? Or are you just gonna stick with the arena football? So, uh, yeah, I mean, the channel's name is Rainfall Nation, and uh, I think I was thinking about doing it potentially, but then I was like, eh, the branding's already set, established. I already got enough subscribers. I don't really want to change anything. But uh, I got you. I got there's you. just so much content I could talk about with arena indoor football. It's year-round. Even in the offseason, you think it'd be like a dead time? No, you got teams bouncing around. You got teams folding. There's there's so much you know stuff we could talk about even in the offseason. So it's really never a uh, dead real long dead period with arena indoor football. So I was, you know, and there's just so many leagues. So I was like, I'm just going to go hard into that and just stick with it. I mean, uh, that's what I really love anyways, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stick with it and just cover arena and indoor football leagues. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Definitely, definitely right about the off season part, you know, I yeah. don't, um, only try and make two videos during the off season, as you know, at this point, you know, I only try and make two, one in like late November, the other in like, you know, late February, back when the leagues used to start in late February, but now everybody starts in March. So, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, year round content with this stuff, <laughs> but I think <laughs> I only do 26 videos over the year. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 Drama content. never ends. 
it's a never ending cycle. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, here, um, what, what, what do, what, what, um, when people come to your channel, what do you, what do you, what do you think the thing they need to take away from is? What do you? Yeah. So the biggest thing I want people to take away when they come to my channel and see my content is I want them to see that there, there is a very passionate fan base for the sport and there is so much out there for them to consume as fellow fans that, you know, it, I just want more people to come gravitate to the sport because the more people we get, the more revenue the teams are going to get, obviously, you know, they might get some butts and seats some season ticket holders, whatever it may be, uh, add revenue from streaming. Uh, who knows one day if they get back on the, uh, a big market, like CBS sports, all that good stuff. You know, there's talk about that always. Um, and at the end of the day, just get more people there so the teams can be more profitable. And then there's players on the field that are busting their butts, giving it all they got, being warriors on the field. They have more pe- more eyes on them, and they can be successful and then move on to the next level. So I want them to get all the opportunities they can get so that they can achieve their dreams. And I know that's playing in the NFL. You know, now you have other leagues besides that, you Canadian Football League. You have, uh, what's it now, United Football League? Yes, so- the United Football League. There's so many opportunities and options out there that, you know, people who have the athletic ability that, you know, that, that can play at that level. I know some, they do eventually, they, they might play in indoor or arena leagues. Uh, maybe they just didn't get that opportunity to be seen by the right people or, or whatever it may be. And uh, yeah, the more opportunities that they can be to be successful on the field, the more opportunities they get to achieve their dreams and make it to the next level. And that's the biggest thing I want the, the, the leagues, the teams to be successful so that the sport I love doesn't go away at the end of the day. You know, they, I, I, that's the biggest thing. And then uh, those players that we all cheer on and we enjoy and they just, you know, they're our heroes, they're the little kids' heroes, you know, they're screaming their names and everything. They have the ability to go to the next level. That's the biggest thing I want to push. Oh, you know this sport ain't dying. You know you, you know good and well this sport ain't dying. It's been here for damn near 40 years, <laughs> yeah. you know, like a cockroach. The head, you yeah. know, it's taken off. Another one grows in its place. Like, it's, it's oh, yeah. the regeneration. Of it all, um, crazy that works, right? I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how roach physiology works. So you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm in the I'm weeks just, coming I'm, back always. Yeah, you know, I'm just making up stuff. But again, roaches do come back. So you know, roaches, <laughs> roaches are roaches. But that's that's oh, yeah. neither here nor there. We're, we're, the, 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 but my point it being is that you know, there's always going to be. The indoor arena scene is all that's always going to be something coming out of it, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, obviously, you know, I'm not going to talk about all the big news that happened this week yet, but you know, we got some interesting stuff coming up, you know, on Tuesday because there's a Monday night playoff game, you know, there's a Monday night playoff oh, game, yeah. gonna be very, very fun. Uh, you know, the IFL playoffs have been. Pretty crazy with all the upsets. Oh yeah. How, how how do you feel about the IFL this year? You know, in general. Man, I'm just absolutely loving it. The, it's been an extremely fun year. At the end of the day, uh, very competitive. Teams that usually are the bottom feeders, they're actually making a big push and doing really well this year. Uh, some of the big ones, Rob, the off the gate, you can say is San Diego and Green Bay. Usually, those teams aren't making deep playoff pushes and look at them now they're, they're doing, you know, really good for themselves. I know green Bay just got knocked out, but still like that, that's impressive. That's, that's good for their future to build off of. And they are, they are a solid team. I mean, I watched them firsthand live. So they're, you know, they're, they're solid. So, um, I'm trying to yeah, remember. I'm, there was a green, Bay. Oh, there was a green Bay Jackson. I, I can't remember at all. There was a green Bay Jackson yeah. this year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, what was it? Uh, yeah, it's just it's just the whole league is re- really it's so I, I think I made a video recently. I think I did a live stream on my first one, and I mentioned how it was just not fun for Sioux uh, Falls um, or Arizona just to win it every year, and uh, it's like that's not fun. Like, it's just every year they're dominating, and then you got a lot of teams that are competing and you know getting upsets on them or other teams and doing really well for themselves, establishing them at, themselves as you know, solid brands. And, uh, yeah, it's just been really fun. The, um, trying to find the right word for it. I said it before, um, we're, uh, 
for all the teams that they're all competing very well. There's a word I used for it, but I can't think of it right now on top of my head. But anyways, yeah, it's just been really fun. I've enjoyed it more more than usual. I, I I love how the big league is growing and all these new teams. I'm really excited for the future for more fran- franchises to join the league. And uh, yeah, I just think it's been a really competitive league in the season. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been a great year. It's been a okay. I wouldn't say it's been a great year. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's definitely been a more positive year than a negative year. But you know, it is what. Those been their issues, especially the streaming early on. That was rough. Yeah, yeah, definitely more positive year than the negative. You know, I'm very, <laughs> I get very pessimistic sometimes. So, you know, so you know, I, I, I'm just like, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> everything's going, you know, pretty just swimmingly. With punches. You know, nothing's perfect. You know, I can't complain too much. You know, you know, still loving the IFL the way I do, like I have been since I came back into the sport. At the tail end of the AFL through uh, two point out at the tail end when I came back in to the sport and everything like that. So, um, I guess do you, do you have any, are you a fan of any other teams or is it just Jacks? Is it just like Jacksville only? Um, I would say uh, recently I started really enjoying the uh, minors, West Virginia. Well, they're called Wheeling now. But they were initially the West Virginia Miners, but they're really Miners now. Really f- big fan of them. They did a great job. Uh, very solid route the gate overall. The uh, ownership and Coach Rez, they, they did establish a solid brand. Uh, I think the arena is fantastic for arena and indoor football. Uh, really quaint, small. And um, I, I just know when they get like five, six, whatever it is, their capacity, it's either five or 6,000. I know once they you know really start packing it, it's going to be loud, intimidating for uh, opposing teams to come in there. And, um, yeah, I just think the branding overall. I'm a big uh, logo guy, and I just think the overall branding, they just nailed it, obviously. The color scheme is great. I mean, it reminds you of a West Virginia Mountaineers, obviously, but um, I still think it, they did a great job. It seems to be like the fans are really enjoying it. I think it's just, a, you know, this, this second year, I think they're going to really hit their stride and, really see an increase in fans now that they've established the brand and they've shown that they're going to last more in a year. And you know, they obviously won uh, their league their first year in. So, uh, yeah, I was a really big fan of them. I was really impressed with all they've done and uh, really enjoy Coach Rez's coaching. He, he's a great coach and he's very animated on the sidelines. You can't miss him. Yeah, Coach and, Rez uh, is, a, <laughs> yeah. is certainly a character. He's certainly, oh, he's yeah. certainly one of those guys. He's certainly one of those guys that's just passionate. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 at first I hated him. I was like, get this guy out of here. He's just all over the place screaming at the refs, and he, he's not afraid to give it back to a fan if they're right in his ear giving it to him. So uh, I learned to respect it and appreciate the intensity because he cares. So um, if, he, if he didn't care and he wasn't passionate about getting those those players where they needed to be or as good as they needed to be to compete, you know, he wouldn't be there. So. Uh, yeah, I love having him around, you know, in, in the uh, in the game. So, yeah, overall, West Virginia, I'm, I'm a big fan of them. I, I made a video about them on my channel, just trying to help give any support I could, you know, reach my audience or, you know, share it, have all their fans share it, just to try to give, you know, one of my little information dumps just, you know, quickly. So, uh, because I just want to do something, anything I could to help them out. So, uh, yeah, pretty big fan of them. I'm excited to see what they got this upcoming year. And then, um, yeah, outside of them, I've, I'm pretty much – I was a – the big southeast, and all the teams are – that were I was kind of a fan of are gone, Storm. I like the Tampa Bay Storm. I, I thought they were pretty cool, and, and uh, they folded. So, uh, yeah, I would say but those three teams are the ones I've really deeply had a uh, fandom for and want to support. Okay. Um, oh, are, you, are you a fan of any other teams and, like, other sports too, like – affiliations oh, um, to those sports. So, um, I'm a big Gator fan, Florida Gators. Uh, born and raised in Florida, so obviously that, that's why that is. Uh, my dad was a Gator fan, so it just came down to me. Uh, we, we went to a lot of games and uh, all of the sports in that for Florida. I'm a fan of. I'll support whatever. So, baseball, basketball, I enjoy it all. Um, Really not a big fan of anything in the MLB, NBA, um, NFL. If I had to choose, it'd be Jaguars or 
the Buccaneers. It's, you know, something that was local to my area. But uh, yeah, that's about it. I really don't like the big sports, the pro sports. I I, oh, I just so enjoy the not. smaller stuff. Oh, you're you're more of a small sports enjoyer. Enjoyer. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's 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 good. That's good. Not nothing for hockey. Nothing for. Oh, hockey. hockey. Yeah. I got, I got yeah, into yeah. hockey this year, so you so, know, I, <laughs> I had to ask. I have too. Like I, that. It's interesting you brought that up. I actually went to a couple games. Um, you got some a lot of minor league teams actually in Florida. You got the Icemen, obviously. You got the Everblades, uh, Solar Bears. Uh, Savannah has a team now, right? You know, right, right there. It's not too far. So like they're, the, they're, uh, the Savannah, Georgia, right? Yeah, Savannah, Georgia, the Ghost yeah, Pirates. We're still good. It's uh, <laughs> the Savannah, Georgia indoor football team. <laughs> yeah, man, I, that's my that's my guess. I keep saying every year, or at least past years, at least I said they got to get a team. I just I can just feel it because they have that new arena or it's been revitalized. I'm pretty sure it was redone. But that arena is really awesome. I watched some of the Savannah Ghost Pirates hockey in there, and I think it's just perfect for arena indoor football. It's just a matter of time the right ownership comes along and really establishes something there because I think that'd be solid for that region. I mean, you already got a built-in rivalry with the Sharks right down the road, uh, and you got some more Southeast teams that might come along. Um, Carolina's not far from there, obviously. So, yeah, I think it's just a matter of time. That seems like one of those untapped potential – regions or, or cities that I'm just waiting for somebody to start a team. I, I had, I had to say, it cause you bring it up a lot. You, whenever, whenever, whenever people, whenever people in discord, you know, or on the YouTube chats go off on a tangent about expansion, <laughs> I had to bring it up. So, oh uh, man, cause it, it, it was, it was certainly interesting. And I'm going to have to look more into Savannah, Georgia myself. I'm going to have to look more into that team myself, you know, like really look, you know, everything. Cause I may, I may be drawn into your idea, but you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not one yeah. to guess. I'm not <laughs> one to guess, you know, about, you know, markets and stuff like that. Cause I'm terrible at that. I'm just as terrible as I am for my predictions for games. So, <laughs> so, you know, there's that. All right, so where can people find you, my man? Where can people find you? Yeah, so the biggest thing, obviously, is YouTube, uh, Arena Football Nation. There's my logo right there behind me, you can see. Uh, that's uh, right now where I'm obviously posting all my content. Uh, I do have a Twitter, a Facebook page set up. I need to start posting there, but just for the future you know, reference, I need to, I need to head it, go ahead and make establish those. But I'll start posting those more regularly. I tried to during the season, doing like a little custom image I made for previews for games and uh, who won right after. But I uh, kind of fell off there as well. Uh, like, like you said, it's hard being so dedicated about putting all this content out when you don't get no people reciprocating it. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do is get those set up for sure. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Facebook right now. Gosh, you gosh. It, it. I mean, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. I'm looking at my calendar. I'm like, we got, we got, we got through. We got less than three weeks left. We got really two weeks left, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm kind of ready to get the season over with and <laughs> get ready to talk about college football and the like, you know. So, yeah, that's Arena Football Nation on Big Boy Sports. Um, Glad that you I'm glad that whoever stuck around the whole damn near 30 minutes stuck around the damn near whole 30 minutes. Um, of course, again, you can find AFN on Facebook, on Twitter, and his YouTube page. And of course, you can find me here and my personal Twitter, which you know I'll probably I'll probably tag you in at one point. You'll you'll definitely you'll definitely see. You know, the same PFP that's in the Discord, you know, it's like, oh, okay. And then the, that's Big Boy's personal Twitter. What, what is he posting on there? But <laughs> in any case, um, we're going to get on up out of here and again, join me. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, Monday. Right, right. There's a Monday night football game. So join uh, Another me. Monday <laughs> night, man. <laughs> <laughs> My dreaded enemy, as I said. Right. Um, join me Tuesday morning um, to talk about these 
four playoff games because there's four playoff games, two IFL, two in the TAL, the ones that are in about 90 minutes or so, and then the two playoff games on Friday and then, of course, the Monday night. And then, you know, we go from there with TAL championship being standalone on August 10th and then the IFL championship on August 17th also being standalone. And then that's it for the season and then blah, blah, blah. <laughs> wait three months and I'll come back to you about indoor football. And then, you know, we'll go from there. <laughs> we'll go from oh, there. Yeah. We'll go from there. We'll go, we'll get, we'll get a lot of college football and NFL and stuff like that in between. And of course, you know, again, guys like the guys like arena football nation have you covered with more of the indoor football scene, you know, when I'm not posting it. So, you know, yep. again, we're out of here. Um, again, I'll be posting to various, post various social media platforms and that's it from me that's it from us all right man thank you very much appreciate you having me on all right